Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Katya. Today I have a short routine that will focus on your glutes, strengthening and toning your glutes and your legs. This is part three of the summer series. So depending on your available time, you can do this routine by itself or you can mix and match it with part one and part two. Okay, so I am using a resistance loop today. If you have one or if you have a long resistance band, you can grab them, you can use them. And, but don't worry, if you don't have one, you can do all the exercises without the band as well. Okay, so grab your band if you have it and your mat and we are ready to begin. Okay, great, so we'll start on our mat. If you have the band, you're going to place it across your legs. The long band, you're going to tie it around your legs, make a double knot so it's nice and secure. Lie down onto your back, please. And then hug your knees in towards your chest for a moment and just give yourself a little rock side to side. Settling on your mat, maybe closing your eyes. It's taking a moment here to arrive. Lovely. And then we'll bring our feet down to the floor and we get started right away. Feet are hip distance apart. Rest your arms long beside your body. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, drawing down through the abdominals, rolling your pelvis up into a high pelvic tilt. Already here, engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. Inhaling, holding it at the top. Exhale, roll the spine slowly down. We're going to do two more of these. Inhale, exhale, draw the belly in, roll the pelvis back up again, grounding into the floor, keeping your ribs in, keeping your abdominals nice and tight. Inhale, exhale, rolling back down. Inhale, relax. Exhale, rolling back up again. Grounding into your feet, make sure the big toe joints are rooting down. Now bring your hands to your hips, trying to keep your hips absolutely still. Keep that tailbone scooping up towards the space between your knees. Inhale, exhale, press your right knee out to the side without changing the position. Inhale, bring your right knee in line with the toes. Exhale, press your left knee out to the side. Now engaging the outer thighs, inhale, closing. Exhale, press your right knee out. Inhale, close. Exhale, your left knee. And close. Feel the resistance of the band. And if you don't have a band, you just imagine the band. So you can create that resistance by thinking about it and sending the message to your body. Inhale, two more. Open your right knee and close, and open your left knee, and close. Pause it here, let's take the arms all the way back behind you, inhale, lift, 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 exhale, roll slowly down, sweep the arms back down. Great, one more, step your feet together, squeeze your legs together, inhale, exhale, rolling up in this position. Now initially with your legs together here, you might find you can't go as high without arching your back. That's perfectly normal. Inhale. On your next exhale, turn the toes pointing out into a V shape. Press both knees out now. Now see if you can squeeze your hips up a little bit higher, really feeling those glutes, the outer hamstrings. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, closing your feet, closing your knees and squeeze everything back together using the inner thighs. Inhaling, opening your toes out into V-shape, open the knees, press into the band, squeezing your glutes, scoop the hips up higher. Inhaling, exhale, close your feet, squeeze your knees together. One more time, inhale, nice and slow, every movement with control. Feel your muscles engage and closing it, squeezing together. Try and keep the hips as stable as possible. Last time, open the toes into the V-shape, lifting up and bring your feet close together, squeeze your knees together. 
Inhale, stretch your arms up and back. Exhale, roll it down. Sweep the arms down. Hug your knees into the chest. Give yourself a little stretch. Maybe even stretching your legs out to release the hamstrings. Maybe pointing and flexing your feet. And then relax your feet down. Great. Come and lie onto your side. Turn all the way onto your side. So check that your shoulders and hips are in one straight line. And then bring your knees 90 degrees in front of you with your feet directly under your knees. So we've got 90 degrees hips and at the knee joints as well. Hand to the top hip and we're lengthening our waist. Good. So you feel that gentle lift to your bottom waist. Good. Making sure that your pelvis is not going anywhere, but keeping it absolutely still. Inhale. Exhale. Press the top leg up. Press, press, press. Inhale. Close it down. Exhale. Pressing it up using your abdominals and close it down. Trying to lead with your knee so that you're not having your foot going up, but your knees leading. And close. Two more here. Press up and lower down. Again, press up, isolating right into that outer hip and close. Adding on. Lift. This time extend your leg straight down. Kick the leg forwards. Reach the leg back slightly behind you. Bend your knee right above the other leg and close it down. Let's set the breathing. We'll inhale this time to lift. Exhale, push the heel away. Inhale forwards. Exhale, reach the leg back, slightly back. Feel that work and your sit bone. Inhale, bend. Exhale, close. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale, reach out through the heel, long leg. Inhale, leg forwards. Checking not to sink into your lower back. Exhale, reach your leg slightly back. Bending your knee, inhale. Exhale, close. Two more rounds. Inhale up. Exhale, try and keep the leg the same height. No dipping down here. Inhale forwards. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, close. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Inhale forwards. Exhale, take your leg out long. Reach it slightly back. Now take your arm and reach it the opposite way. Tiny pulses with your leg going back, back. Hold onto your center so you don't arch your back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bending your knee back where you came from. Rest it down. Ooh, good. Give your glutes a little pad, maybe with your fist. Little release. Okay. Lovely. Straighten your legs all the way down. Nice long line. Check that you can see your feet. So just to be sure the legs are not too far behind you. The top hand, you can rest it in front of your tummy here just to support you or your arm can be along the side of your body. Inhale, float up the top leg, parallel legs. Exhale, lift the bottom leg. Inhale, bottom leg down. Exhale, top leg down. Try and keep your waist as long as possible. Inhale, lift the top leg. Exhale, the bottom leg. Squeeze it up. Try and get those heels together. Inhale, bottom leg down. Exhale, top leg down. Three to go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. And squeeze it up, lower down, and lower down. Gorgeous, last one, lift, and lift, hold it. Let's flex our feet, adding on the top leg up, and down, and squeeze up, and down. Reach out long, and lower, reach out long, 
and lower one more up and down now the bottom leg down squeeze it up lower squeeze it up that's it careful with your shoulder good breathe last one hold it Point your toes, stretch out longer, 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 lower down. Almost there, last bit, inhale. Exhale, lift both legs. Maybe floating the head up as an elongation. Lower down, inhale. Exhale, lengthening, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, feeling that waist as well now. Lower down, exhale, lift, gorgeous, here's your last one, and lift, and relax, well done, bend your knees, push yourself up, and the easiest way, make your way onto your hands and knees, before we do the other side, we're just going to have a moment in our cut stretch to release, Inhale, arch your back, look forwards. And exhale, round on your spine, releasing the head forwards. Inhaling, arching your back. And exhale, round and one more, inhaling. And exhaling. Sit back to your heels, give yourself a mini stretch here, inhale, and exhale, lovely, let's come off to the other side, so let's turn onto the other side, stretch your arm out, and again we'll bend our knees to have that beautiful 90 degree ankle at the hips and at the knees. Hips and shoulders in line. Good. Lengthening your waist. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. Press your top knee up. Inhale. Close. Exhale. Press it up. Inhale. Close. Good. Keep going. I don't know about you, but my second side is always harder. Press it up. And lower. Last one. Good. Let's add on. So we'll change the breath. We inhale, lift. Exhale, press the heel away. Beautiful neck. Inhale, sweep the leg forwards. Exhale, point, sweep the leg down and maybe slightly back. Careful not to arch. Bend your knee parallel over the other leg and lower down. Let's go. Inhale up. Exhale, reach the leg away. Kick the leg forwards. Point the toes, reach it back. Bending your knee, carefully your knee doesn't roll in here. And close it down. Inhale up. Exhale, press. Inhale forwards. Exhale, sweep it back. Bending your knee. Lower down, check that your pelvis stays nice and steady. Press up, two more rounds. Push it away and forwards. And sweep it back. Bending your knees, checking on your shoulder, please. And lower down. Last one, inhale up. Exhale out. Sweep it forwards. Sweep it back, reach it here. Take the arm and stretch it the opposite way. Feel you're getting longer, longer and longer. 10 pulses with your leg gently going back, back, back. Hold onto your tummy, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release it down, well done. Let's give it a pat. Hopefully you felt that burn in your glutes. Good. Let's straighten those legs out. We'll keep going. So nice long legs, reaching out long. Check that your shoulders are not too far back. So you're nice and straight. Inhale, float up the top leg. 
be right on your side, find your balance. Exhale, followed by your bottom leg. Inhale, bottom leg lowers. Exhale, top leg lowers. Again, inhale, top leg. Exhale, bottom leg. Lower and lower. One more time, lift and lift and lower and lower. Up and up, down and down. Lift and lift, hold it, flex your feet. Good, drawing through your abdominals. Ready, squeeze the top leg up and down. Again, feel that resistance or create it, imagine it. And squeeze up and lower. Squeeze up and lower. One more, squeeze up and lower. Pause the top leg, bottom leg down and squeeze it up as well. Down and squeeze. Lower and squeeze. Lower and squeeze. Last two. Hold it, point your toes, reach out long. Slowly bring your legs down, inhale. Exhale, both legs lifting, reaching out through the toes, the crown of the head, and lower down, inhale. Exhale, lengthening, lifting, and lower down. Beautiful, one more, and lift. And lower down, last one, and lift, and lower down. Well done, bending your knees, push yourself up to sitting. Now we are repeating our cut stretch just before we get there. Let's just move our band down around our ankles. Okay, see if we can keep it there so we don't lose it. And let's repeat our cut stretch again, just to have a mini break. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round in. Inhaling, arching. Exhale, round in. One more, inhaling. Exhale, round in. Once more, sit back to your heels into your child's pose. This time, walk your hands over to your right side. Breathe into the left. Feel that length through the left side. And then come through the center. And over to the other side. Breathing now into your right side. Maybe leaning with your hips off to the right to increase the stretch. Come back to the center and let's come and lie down on your tummy. Now you can always put a cushion under your tummy to support your lower back. These next exercises, if you feel this is putting too much pressure on your lower back, then I really would rather, I would rather you take the band off, okay? And you do the movement without the resistance of the band. So you can give it a go and see how it goes. So rest down, rest your head onto your forehead. Now making sure that you're lengthening through your lower back by reaching the tailbone to the heels and gently drawing your tummy in. Have the legs slightly apart so you can feel this tension on your band. Inhale, exhale, slowly floating up your right leg. Just so you feel a little bit of tension, keeping the hips nice and even. Abdominal supporting you. Lower down, inhale. Exhale, pick up your left leg. Now, my preference is for my body, I like lifting my head a little bit, also so I can talk to you now. So if you want to float your head up a little bit, if that feels better than resting your head down, that's another option. Keep alternating your legs. Really think about your strengthening the hamstrings right at the top where it attaches to your sit bone. Strengthening your glutes as well. Now keep going slow, or as long as it feels good, you can start to movement a little bit faster so you get into your swimming legs. Just gently alternating. Slowly inhale and exhale. 
right? If you need a rest, if it's too much on your back, have a rest. Maybe take the band off. Good. And let's all lower the legs down, relax. Rock your hips a little bit side to side. Good. If you need to take a child's pose, take a child's pose. We've got one more here. Again, straighten yourself out. Reach the tail away. Now turn your legs slightly out. Again, take care of your sacroiliac joints. If that's not good, keep your legs parallel. See if you can elongate, barely lift the legs off the floor. And then tiny little, tiny little pulses. Just pulsing the legs into the band. Outwards, outwards. Once you're really tightening your glutes, squeezing that bottom. Think about lengthening through the lower back. You can have little pauses in the middle and then start again. It's tiny little pulses out into that band. And relax. Well done. Turn your legs parallel. Let's bend the knees and just like little windscreen wipers, rock the feet side to side. Rest your feet down, hands under your shoulders. Push yourself all the way up onto your hands and knees. Guess what, we can get rid of our band now. Take it off and give yourself one more nice big stretch into your child's pose. Well done. Great, and we just got some stretches. Inhale, come forwards. Tuck your toes under, come into a downward facing dog. Give yourself a nice stretch here, walking on the spot. Good. Then you're going to bend your right knee. Left leg is as straight as possible. Turn your left heel to the center of the mat. It's about 45 degrees. And then press into your left heel, into the mat, up into your left hip. Look under your left arm. Good. I'm hoping you get a stretch along the outer thigh, up into your hip. And then bring yourself back into neutral. Bend your left knee. Turn your right heel slightly in. Press into your right heel and up into your right hip, slightly turning your chest to the right. Look for a sensation along the outer right thigh, up into your hip. Maybe your calf as well, the back of the knee. Come all the way back. Walk your hands all the way back. Inhaling here. Exhale, similar, bend your right knee. Now we'll take the left arm up to the sky. Look up to your hand and release. Same on the other side. Bend your left knee, reach your right arm up. And release. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Good. Inhale, stretch your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bending your knees. Let's just draw palms together. Let's find our balance. From here, balance on your left leg first. I'm going to mirror you. Pick up your right leg and cross your right ankle. Now see if you can sit back into your standing heel. I like pushing my hand into the foot. Press the foot and hand together. Keep your spine nice and long. And maybe the other hand can go under your knee. You can support the knee. Knee and hand press into each other. Hopefully getting a good stretch in your right side glute, outer hip. Good, lovely. Bring yourself all the way up. Open your feet as wide as your mat would be. Stretch your arms up in here. Exhale, come down into a squat. Good. So option to stay up higher here, resting your elbows. Hanging out here for a moment, feeling your legs strong. Maybe some of you can come all the way down, sitting down into that low squat. Pressing with your elbows against the inner knees. Lift up your chest. Lovely, good. Hands down, lift your hips, forward fold. Heel, toes, heel, toes into hip distance apart. And roll yourself up to standing. And let's repeat the same on your left side. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, gently squat. Balance it now on your right leg. Pick up your left leg, cross your ankle, pressing your knee out, sitting down. The more you can sit back, stick your bottom out, 
lift your chest, the more you will feel a stretch. Maybe your hand to the foot, the other hand hugging the knee. The knee can press into the hand to create more sensation if you need it. Good balancing exercise as well. Come all the way up, release your foot down. Open your feet one more time as wide as the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend your knees. Stay with option one if that feels good for you. Elbows on your thighs. Make sure the knees are aligned with your toes. Or squat yourself all the way down, drawing the chest forwards and up. And then releasing down. Bring your feet all the way back under your hips and slowly roll yourself up to standing. Take a big stretch with your arms up in here. Exhale, hands to the heart. You are done for today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you felt your glutes, your bum and your legs. And I look forward to seeing you next time. If you enjoyed this class, give it a like, leave me a comment. I love reading your comments and hearing from you. And don't forget to subscribe. See you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.